Now, the Intel Arc has been a success. It's pretty much sold out, although it was you know a limited campaign of products that they shipped, I suppose, to retailers to see how it would go over. It's gone over very well. And one of the reasons is that the base model comes with 12 gigabytes of VRAM for $249 US. Very reasonable. It competes with the NVIDIA 4060 mostly. Uh, drivers are a bit of a problem still with this video cart. However, that should be worked out in the future. And, well, you know, it's selling off the shelves, and there is no wonder. So it looks like, according to a shipping document, that um, there might be an Intel Arc B580 video card with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. This will shame, literally shame, NVIDIA. Because the 5080, which is going to be a hell of a lot faster than this, uh, will have 16 gigabytes. That's the rumored spec for the 5080. Now, it's going to be faster, but it's going to have less VRAM. VRAM is extremely important in a lot of the new games when you're playing them at a higher resolution with all the eye candy on. It is vital, crucial. I know some people say, ah, 8 gigabytes is enough. No, it is not. Not for 2025 and certainly not to future-proof your purchase. So it looks like Intel, good job. Keep doing this. Keep pushing back because we need lots and lots of competition in the gaming GPU market. You know, it creates innovation. And this will hopefully as well lower prices. Although while Intel is certainly listening... It doesn't seem like NVIDIA is, and I suppose when you're the top dog and there are no other options available, at least on the top tier video cards, why should a company care? That isn't the way that companies should be looking at things, but it certainly seems like that's the way they are. I mean, I can see a video card being maybe double the cost of your competitor, not triple or quadruple, because I think we're all going to be completely shocked by how much the 5080 and the 5090 video cards are going to be from NVIDIA. Brace for it.